Hey guys, Pierluigi here and in this Figma tutorial we're going to create these two web designs from scratch. Now we're going to leverage an amazing 3D illustration kit from LS Graphics which you can find in the link in the description. And by the way, I also want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to become a UI UX designer where I'm sharing my over 8 years of experience and essentially everything that I wanted to know when I first started out as well as free source files from these Figma tutorials and also all of the other soft design software tutorials which you find on my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's get started and the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a new frame which is going to be 1440 pixels of width since that's a nice sweet spot when it comes to creating a desktop website. You can go larger or smaller than that, but I found that 1440 is uh, quite uh, good overall. Now let's start adding some text uh, and uh, we're going to write uh, the text right here and uh, let's make it a little bit bigger since uh, it's not really standing out. And uh, one thing that we're gonna do is we're going to change the font to Montserrat which uh, by the way is a free Google web font which you can download from the Google website uh, again for free and I uh, think this is good. Now we're going to create uh, the top level menu so we're going to make the text smaller we're also going to make it a medium in uh, um, in the font size or actually in uh, the font weight and uh, let's go ahead over here and let's write uh, the different elements. Now I'm going to duplicate uh, with command D just a few times so we can uh, create the different uh, elements of the menu and I'm going to write here services then over here we're going to have the frequently asked questions and then contact us. All right so far so good. Now let's uh, go ahead over here and let's distribute uh, horizontally all of this Let's bring this uh, on the far right. All right, so one thing that we're gonna add in this case uh, is going to be a profile picture and we're going to leverage nuclear icons in order to do so. So let's start typing in profile or something like user, but profile that, that will work. And uh, we see this uh, icon right here, which we're going to leverage. So let's bring it up. And the icon is quite small, so I'm going to make it uh, larger in size. Let's also use uh, a oval so that we can create the, the profile. So, all right. Let's also unframe it. And uh, I think this is heading in the right direction. Now we're also going to change the color of this in just a minute, but uh, just bear with me on this for one second. And uh, let's go over here and let's write uh, the headline. So okay, let's change it to SaaS expertise. And we're going to have uh, another headline. Or actually, let's keep the same one. Made for humans. Mm, let's uh, let's write it like this. Let's make uh, the headline bigger. Let's make this one lighter. So we have a, a bit of a contrast this time. Straight thin, no thin, it's a little bit <laughs> too thin. And uh, let's uh, increase uh, the line height as well. Okay, that will do. And uh, now that we finally have the headline, let's add a subheadline. And I'm going to use a text uh, which uh, essentially is going to generate uh, some automatic text which I pre-filled in and uh, it's uh, an app for Mac I'm sure that there is also in uh, Windows or at least uh, some some similar app I haven't really double checked on, on that but uh, essentially it's a it's quite a cool app 
you can essentially set some uh, some elements, uh, some, some text, uh, and then you can uh, essentially write uh, an abbreviation of that text and it's going to spawn automatically. So super, super useful. Let's write uh, the text right here. This one's going to be get started. Let's make it bigger and uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's uh, add a rectangle. So rectangle is going to be here below. Let's make this one smaller so we can create uh, our button. Now I'm going to use uh, this color. Let's probably make it just a little bit smaller. Center. Let's bring it more on the left. And there we go. Okay, this uh, should do for now. And uh, let's also add a second one, which is going to be play video. And uh, let's uh, go back to Nucleo Icons, which you can find at nucleoicons.com. Let's write uh, play for the play button. And here we go. Here's our good old play button. And let's bring it over here on top. Let's make it white. And let's use a different stroke. And cool. I think we managed to make a good solid button. <laughs> And let's add just a little bit uh, of a roundedness to, to these. Uh, just, just a bit, just like three pixels. All right, perfect. Now what we're gonna do next is we're going to create uh, some uh, rectangles, which are essentially going to span uh, through the canvas. And uh, let's do that uh, right here. All right, and then uh, what we're gonna do is we're essentially going to add uh, some um, some elements, uh, some 3D elements uh, from uh, the grid kit from uh, LS Graphics. So that's what we're gonna do in just a moment. But before we do that, uh, <clears throat> I actually want to go ahead, uh, duplicate this, uh, let this element, and create uh, almost a mouse. Uh, um, so that we can uh, essentially have a call to action to scroll down for the users. And uh, let's also change this one to rounded. Or actually the cap must be rounded. Yep, that's exactly it. And uh, let's make it smaller. All right, perfect. Bring it over here. Let's make this to in, in size. We're going to write uh, scroll down. Let's make this one regular, also smaller. And that will do. All right, perfect. So far, so good. And we probably just want to make it just a bit bigger, actually. And let's also add a little bit of spacing uh, between uh, these elements right here. And there we go. All right, now it's time to leverage some of these uh, super cool icons 
from uh, the LS Graphics uh, 3D Illustration Kit. So we actually have so many cool icons, which uh, it's going to be tough to choose because <laughs> uh, our tendency is to just go ahead and choose uh, everyone. But uh, we need to start somewhere. So let's start and think about what would a SaaS company be maybe uh, relevant to. So definitely something that involves a uh, yeah, computer. So let's go over here. Let's change this one so that it's a computer. Or actually, let's just add it over there. Now, another thing that would be definitely relevant is some sort of graph. So let's go back over here. And let's uh, add a graph to the equation. And there we go. All right. Now let's go ahead and let's add one more icon. And uh, in this case, we want something maybe playful or maybe slightly different. So let's go ahead over here. And I'm actually wondering, like there's, there's so many cool icons. <laughs> maybe this one is going to be pretty interesting. A rocket, SAS is uh, one to have it like to be a synonym of growth. So definitely that could be a good association. I'll start uh, adding uh, some of these colors to it. And uh, boom, it's already starting to look pretty interesting. Maybe you can consider a different, something slightly different. Um, actually, one thing that we're gonna do is we're going to select all these and just bring them down just a notch since uh, I wasn't 100% sure about the, the layout. All right, I think this is looking pretty interesting. And uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to change things up just a little bit. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to change the, or actually for some reason, the get started text got messed up. We're gonna solve that uh, very fast. Let's change this one to this color. Make it ten percent, and boom, we are back in business. Now, one more thing that we're gonna do is we're going to actually change all of this text to white, and you're going to see the reason why in just a moment. And also, these stroke text, and this element right here, and also this guy. Since uh, we're going to try something different and we're going to actually go ahead and use a, a linear gradient. All right. So as you can see, we can create a very interesting pattern over here or a different uh, visual effect. And we can play around with uh, different gradients in order to create uh, different uh, exper visual experience uh, for the specific project. And uh, let's go over here, make this one white. And this one needs to be a bit more pronounced uh, for my taste. All right, so as you can see, definitely a lot of room for experimentation when it comes to the to the background you can also go quite uh, on the dark side if you wish maybe opts for for something uh, like this maybe we can change the, the call to action color to be more intense and bright. As you can see, we can create uh, all sorts of different elements uh, and uh, visual associations in a fast way. So yeah, that's 
pretty much it when it comes to this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.